Welcome back to Living Tradition. My name is Daniel Girgis again. I'm happy that you're joining me once more. Today, we're focusing on another hymn that is quite well known in our tradition. Most of our people love it and they sing it with great passion. And today I'd like to shed just a little bit of light on the hymn Rashine. Rashine now is used as a hymn during the veneration. And the veneration is typically done during the Feast of St. Mary or in other saints' feasts. And typically they include verses for the Virgin and some of the other saints, etc. And, they usually, it's, and usually it's sung with a great sense of joy because the hymn is actually about joy. Let me take a step um, back and let's look at the hymn in a broad sense. In the tradition of our church, specifically in Upper Egypt, there were a set of hymns called Herminiyat. A Herminiya is a key word or a hymn that focuses on a theme word or a key word. And typically in Upper Egypt, our ancestors were grouping the Psalms, not only based on the grouping that is written in the scripture by number, but also by theme word. So they would gather the verses of the Psalms that would have, for example, the word Telel, or what is now pronounced as Thelil, and they would take all of the Psalms or a number of the Psalms that have the word Thelil in it and group those verses together and sing them in a specific tune. This tradition is documented um, by Ibn Kabar, um, who was one of our, he is one of our primary liturgical sources and it goes back to the 14th century. This structure is common not only to Rashine but also to other hymns including um, what we now know as Senatsho, which is a Hermeneia on the word Ishperi or Ishpiri, uh, which means wonders. So you'll notice that those words, whether it be Thelil, rejoice, or um, Shpiri, wonders, are repeated in every single stanza of both of those hymns. We'll go back to um, the, the hymn Rashine for a moment. So each of the verses has the word Thelil. So in Coptic, you'll hear or So you'll see that all of the um, verses have the word Talal in them. Now, how did we arrive from the Sahidic version of the Psalms to the current text that we have now? Most of these hymns, when they traveled from Upper Egypt to Northern Egypt or Lower Egypt, they were transcribed orally, and um, because there is some variation and difference between the Sahidic dialect and the older pronunciation of Coptic versus the current one, they were not transcribed correctly into Bahira Coptic. And so the reference to the Psalms and the understanding that these texts were actually from the Sahidic version of the Psalms um, dissipated. So now that we have that connection again, we've been able to study based on our manuscripts and our wonderful liturgical scholars in our church. We were able to go back and see that these are actually from the Psalms and now the text actually makes sense. So what I've recorded today is the English version of the original text of the hymn Rashine, which is actually a Hermeneia on the word Telel or Rejoice. Oh. 
be glad in your mercy for you have looked upon my affliction therefore my heart rejoice and my tongue exalted Thank you so much for listening to this rendition of the hymn. I hope that it adds some context and some understanding to what we do in our veneration service. And I pray that it becomes a source of rejoicing for you and for myself. Please remember me in your prayers. Mm -hmm.